Ladies and boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to edit a clean con in Premiere Pro. So, let's get into the video. So, before getting into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. Yeah, with that being said, so let's get into the video. So, let's go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1920 and vertical 1080. Let me add an image into the timeline. Go to effects and add tint. Change map Y2 red. Set keyframe for scale at the beginning of the timeline. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Select both keyframes, right click, auto base here. Now I'm going to add a in splash video in timeline. So let me add another video. Place this below the in splash video. Add track mat key to the video. Change match to video 3, which is where the ink splash video is placed. Change composite to matte luma. Check reverse. Delete the unwanted portions. Now I'm going to add another image. Go to controls and opacity, set a pen tool, add a mask like this. Create a copy of this image, delete the mask from the bottom image. Place this top layer over here. Now add an image in here. Adjust scale size. Set the circle shape and create a circle like this. Place the circle shape below this image. Change fill color to white. Nest both layers. Set keyframe for position and place it down. Go few frames forward and position up. Let me add a splash video in here. Place it over here. Nest this layer. Double click on the nest sequence. Add a clock video in here. Go to effects and add track mat key to this clock video. Change the mat to video 3. Change composite to matte luma. Check reverse. Go back to main sequence and adjust position and scale. Under opacity, select this circle shape and create a mask like this. Increase the mask further a little bit. Nest all the layers. Now go to effect controls and select this pen tool. Create a mask around the head. Create a copy of this in a sequence. Select this bottom in a sequence and check inverted. Set keyframe for rotation for top in a sequence. Go few frames over and change rotation to 5 degree. Select the bottom in a sequence and decrease the mask expansion to minus 40. Select the top in a sequence and set keyframe for mask expansion. Go few frames over and increase the mask expansion to 50. Now we are going to animate the third scene. Go to new item, color mat, place this below the image. Under opacity, select the spend tool and create a mask around the command. Mask expansion to minus 2. Create another copy and delete the mask. Add a new mask around the command. After all the masking, Go to new item, adjust my layer. Select this circle shape layer under opacity. Create a mask like this. Go to effects and add Gaussian blur. Blur in a 20. Increase mask further to 130. 
Miss all the layers except color mat. I will set a keyframe over here. Go a few frames over and increase the scale size and bullshit. Let me add a common image over here, increase scale size, select this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Under shape, change field color to yellow. Under opacity, change blend mode to multiply. Select this rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames over and adjust the mask path like this. Now we are animating the final scene. Go to new item, color mat. Add Lumetri color to this color mat. Under Lumetri color, Vignette, decrease the amount value to minus 1.4. Add a 3D rectangle shape image. Go to effects and add tint. Let me add a paper to your image in here. Add drop shadow. Under opacity, select this rectangle mask tool, create a shape like this. Place this over here. Create a copy of this paper to your image. Delete the mask and create a new mask. Adjust the mask like this. Next, both newspaper image. Add an adjustment layer. Under opacity, select the circle mask, create a shape like this. Go to effects and add a Gaussian blur. Blur in a 15. Add a dust particles overlay video below this assessment layer. Change blend mode to screen. Decrease opacity a little bit. Place this as a similar and video overlay on top. Create four copies of this triangle image. On opacity, select the spin tool. Create a shape like this. Select this bottom layer and use the paint tool to create a shape like this. After all that done, select the top triangle layer and set keyframe for mask expansion. Increase mask expansion to 100. Go a few frames over, mask expansion 0. Do the same for all the other triangle images.
Now again select the stop triangle layer and set keyframe for position over here. Go few frames over and position on top. Do the same for the all the other triangle layers. Next all the other triangle layers. Set keyframe for scale. Go few frames over and increase the scale size. Use the type tool and go to add a test. Place the test layer below the additional layer. And opacity set this rectangle mask. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames over and it's the mask path. Next all the layers. Set keyframe for scale, go few frames over and increase the scale size. Set keyframe for position and go few frames over and adjust the position. Double click on this third sequence. Adjust the end keyframe for scale in triangle and sequence. Go back to main sequence. And set keyframe for position in one frame forward. Go few frames over and position to the left. Use the pen tool, I'm going to create a shape like this. Change the blend mode to soft light. Select the rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Go to effects and add Venetian blinds. Transition completion, 90 percentage and width to 51. Under opacity, select the rectangle mask tool, create a shape like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames over, adjust the mask path. Use the type tool and go to add a test. Set T-frame for opacity and change to 0. Go few frames over and increase opacity value. Let me add two more tests in here. Change this test color to yellow. Finally, I am going to add a light leak overlay video. Place this video on here. Change the blend mode to screen. Create a copy and place this over here. Yeah, and that's the reason boys and girls. Here is another video how to edit a repeat video like Sardution. Do check it out. If you want to know how to edit like by maximize, check out this video right here. And if you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.